Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina and we're back for another collective intuitive reading with the Earth Magic cards. Earth Magic study. Um, so <laughs> we are on to week six. I don't know, I'm not really counting. Um, but it is a weekend here that I'm recording this and going to give another reading. So I hope you guys had a great week and I hope this reading prepares you for a good week to come and I've shuffled a bit already so let me just pull our card and see what we got mm, okay ancestors hmm coming up for this let me see well I guess one point that comes up for this is like the story that's been weaved it's like what it's like everything that's happening now was a pl a pl pl seed that was planted I want to say Palladians okay was a seed planted back in the day who we are now and what we are living and the world in which we've create created is based on so many fucking lives so many lives um and i guess one point comes up here is you know we've inher inherent inherited the world that currently exist and the question is are we satisfied we've inherited the beliefs of our past generations we've inherited the ideas we've inherited self-definitions we've inherited cultures we've inherited everything everything was just given to us and we just took it like champs <laughs> so maybe this point here is have we asked ourselves if we're satisfied with what has been given to us and is there a potential in which we can create something else something new um a, another point that's coming up is investigate all things keep what is good so not to say that what has been or what is or what was is all bad and it's not serving us to the contrary i believe that everything is so specific and the fact that we're in the position we're in now where we do have more of a fully aware um, understanding of who we are in relation to existence, in relation to the universe, in terms of our responsibility, who we are as expressions of, of the universe, it's like, or God, or life, whatever you want to call it. I think that, you know, has only been because of what has been walked. And so I, I'm truly grateful for every life that has lived that has allowed me to be here in this existence because truly I would not be without what was. Um, so it's that point of A, maybe, gratitude for what has been. Do we look at the past with eyes of judgments or shame or blame or resentments or, you know, that? Or do we see the lives it took to get us here? You know, like, and not only am I grateful to my parents' lives, but to their parents' lives, and their parents' lives, and their parents' lives, and their parents' lives, and their parents' lives, lives, and all of those lives lived so that I could exist here, so that I could be here. That's a lot of fucking people that had to live and experience and make decisions and choices in their life for me to be here. That's like, what are the odds? What are the freaking odds? So, it's interesting because the, the point that's coming up is like, how, you know, there's this point of like, because look, there's this snake and then there's hands in it. There's like, it's like hands in the clay. There's like a deliberate deliberateness to it. There's a, like a design to it. There's like a, not a by accident 
point coming up like everything is actually so specific and I believe that I believe that everything is so specific you could say everything you know is a like there's no such thing as coincidences or everything happens for a reason whatever I say everything is specific like to the detail of a, a, a one moment everything is so specifically reflecting me to me and so this card it brings up the point of it how deliberate is creation how specifically has it been designed and who had their hands in it um yeah so I don't know I feel a little lost in this reading to be honest because I'm not quite sure what the point is there seems to be a lot of points and maybe that is the point of gen the generations like how many lives it took to get to one single point how many experiences it took to have one single realization how many wishes and desires and dreams and yearnings and prayers took to get to one like manifestation you know it's like how much blood sweat and tears it took for life to be what it is today and maybe it's that point of not taking for granted what has been because it allowed for this moment every war every catastrophe every blessing every thing that has happened in this life existence earth history everything that happened allowed you and me to be here in this moment like that is crazy if you think about it and is there and my question is is there a specificity to that or is it completely random I'm of the philosophy that nothing is random everything is specific and so I can't help but think like wow when you really look at it in terms of like you really put into perspective of like what has happened in order for me to get here I can't help but feel really loved and adored and cherished and like like maybe there is a specific reason I'm here and maybe there is a something specific I can offer people and maybe there is something I'm meant to do in this world you know it's like the point of giving yourself a greater purpose giving yourself a greater awareness a greater understanding a, a, a greater reason for being you know yeah you can choose to see life as an accident and by chance and completely random but how does it feel when you consider you were deliberately placed in this particular role and you have role and you have a particular purpose to fulfill how does that feel and that it took every single generation for this moment in time to exist because truly I believe this is a magical time we live in um, that is experiencing the greatest transformation and you can see it individually I mean my my life has gone through f like astronomical transformation not only in the last year of becoming a mother but my whole life has had these these moments of complete transformation complete emergence of something totally new a, a totally new understanding a totally new perspective and I'm a better person because of it um, but I see it on a global scale too and you know if we can m remove the ideas of good and bad right and wrong and you know the shades of judgments and just see things for what they are in terms of how things are moving there's a lot to that's transforming right now you know there's a lot transforming in our world and um, it's exciting because transformation is great that implies change and who doesn't like change some people don't like change but life is change that's what life is and so um, it's exciting I, I feel like we're in an exciting time especially again with that point of people becoming more and more aware of who they are as deliberate creators of their life completely responsible for every thought word and deed and so manifestation of their life you know that no one comes into your life randomly no one no opportunity comes to you randomly nothing happens or doesn't happen randomly like I just can't accept that because that implies that we're victims to chance and I just don't believe that I believe that we're all very de very much deliberately or not deliberately because we just don't have the awareness creating our reality um so yeah, I guess it's the point too of like, okay, so look at all that's had to happen for you to be here and now what are you going to do with the opportunity that you have? Who are you going to be? Because look at the gift you've been given. Look at the blessings that you've been given. Look at the life you've been given. Look at the position you're in. How fortunate are you? 
And what are you doing with that? Are you squandering it or are you making the most of it and um, serving what is best for you and so best for everybody? How are you using the position that you're in? Are you, you know, living your life to the fullest, to your utmost potential? Or are you dwelling in these areas that you had no control over, that just make you feel bad, that just make you feel shitty, that just stir up shit that you don't want to feel or experience? Where is your focus? Where is your attention? Where are your, you know, where are you deliberately, you know, giving your life and attention and focus to? Creation or, you know, the, the story that's playing out that, you know, kind of wraps us up in a drama that we don't really have control over. Um, so yeah, I guess the point that's coming through here is just that point of like, blessings, uh, giving gratitude and uh, being grateful for the life that I've been giving, given in all the lives that had to live and what they must have had to live through to get me here. And choosing to be deliberate in what I do in this position and what I create in this position and taking full responsibility for the position I'm in, which is a, an elite, privileged position to do something pretty remarkable in this world. Like, everybody is in that position if they so choose. Um, yeah, so that's what's coming up today. It's just that point of weaving. It's like this point of weaving, like putting your hands in the clay and and making, you know, taking life into your own hands. Realizing life is in your hands. Life is in your hands. Your hands are in the soil. What are you creating? Are you creating a life that is expressing joy and love and happiness and harmony everything that we want everything we talk about that we want or are you have your hands in creating blame and resentment and jealousy and anger and conflict and you know like replaying the same old story or are you seeing the new story that can emerge through you which is I am in complete control of this life and what I create and I am specifically going to create what is best for me and so what's best for everybody. If you want more specifics on what I mean by that, check out any one of my other videos because I've gone into it before of how we can practically do that. Um, but yeah, it's just that point of, you know, it's like a link in the chain too. It's like every part of this line is so specific and connected and you know there is no there's no accident it's like all one form it's like the time linear time is not actually like it's all connected there's nothing separate or you know not connected everything's so connected and um, yeah it's just finding our place within that and realizing our place within that and realizing we're at the leading edge here we're at the epitome of humanity we're at the moment of birth really creating something new or living out the patterns of the past you know we we can look at history and we can see what was and, and be grateful for it but no that's not our story we're here to create something else we're here to create a new story um and it's just like taking that position and responsibility as the moment in time here to change direction, change course, offer up a new story, offer up a new expression. Who are you in every single moment with every single person and can you offer something new that maybe someone didn't expect? Can you offer a hand of love and compassion and respect? Can you offer, you know, what can you offer this world? What can you offer to yourself? Okay, yeah, so that's the reading for today. It's a lot. It feels like a lot. I feel like I can't really ground into it. And maybe it's because it's the generation point, ancestor point. But it's like, it seems so big. It just seems like this is the whole story. And it's like trying to get it into a little video here. I can't. It's too much. It's a lot. So it's just, yeah, I've said what I've said. So um, thanks for walking with. If you have some perspective on this, I'd love to hear from you. Please add, um, add it in the comments and enrich this conversation that we're having here. Okay, we're gonna read the book definition. Hopefully that gives us clarity. Um, this card is the first card in the book, so kinda like a starting point, I guess. Um, okay, ancestors are those from whom we are descended. 
with a lineage that starts with our parents and grandparents and stretches back hundreds and even thousands of years. We carry our ancestors' bloodline and are connected to them both genetically and spiritually in an underlying continuity of which we may only barely be aware. Although environment and circumstance contribute to shaping us, particularly when we're young, an innate thread of kinship exists that has run the course of history for thousands of years and is contained in our bodies and in our being. Since we're biologically and soulfully connected to these spirit beings, we can readily call upon them for guidance and assistance in matters concerning our family, community, and ourselves. In this card's image, the hands symbolize the constant connection with the past. The Australian Aborigines consider their ancestors the core of their spirituality and culture, and the rainbow serpent, the spirit being that created all life on earth, intertwines herself through the hands' fingers, representing how the Aborigines honor all of creation. No matter our lineage, we have much to learn from our ancestors. You have within you the blood of your ancestors. You are deeply connected to your lineage. The most immediate proof of that being the physical resemblance you have to your mother and father and perhaps even your grandparents. Yet beyond that, although unknown to your usual senses, you are connected to an ancestry that reaches back through the millennia. This is the time to call upon the ancestors, those who are of your bloodline, as well as those ancient ones who have walked the land that you ha have now walked. In many indigenous cultures, it is believed that the essence of your ancestors inhabits many of the physical aspects of the land. In other words, they are in the trees, the water, the air, the animals, the stones. Their blood being in the very dirt and sand you tread upon. Next time you are outside, allow your senses to open to these ancestors who abide in the physical world. And any time at all, allow your heart to open to those spirits who, whom, to whom you are related through your heredity and those to whom you are connected by virtue of the land upon which you live yeah okay it's that point of like everything's connected we're all one thing um every life that lived every life that will lived it's all one thing we're all connected and that is like that to me is like a home point is like really helps me to ground myself in my body and who I am here and my life and home really honestly like where my heart is and my home is it's like I'm here and there's actually just one thing and we're all like nothing's that serious is going on and we're all here expressing ourselves we're all here to learn we're all here to experience we're all here to express that one thing and the diversity and range within that is beautiful and you know we've created quite the story for ourselves in this you know on this earth and that's a beautiful thing and we can celebrate that so um okay that's it for me thanks so much for walking with again i'd still love to hear your perspective so definitely share and i'll see you next week